Hello, hello, and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. I hope that all is well with you. Well, it is so good to be out here with you in the garden. I'm just enjoying my deck on this Saturday. It was raining earlier and very foggy, but now it's beautiful outside as I am just enjoying this lazy Saturday afternoon. The weather is changing and it is now time to harvest the pumpkin and squash and other wonderful veggies. The garden is still very beautiful and even though some of the leaves are starting to turn color in different parts of the garden, we can enjoy harvesting and gathering the different vegetables and the wonderful flowers. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon here at Catherine's Garden and Home and the garden is still looking pretty good but we can start to see that the leaves of the purple perilla are starting to turn color and things are changing a bit but it still looks beautiful and that's a good thing. Well what I'm going to do is go over to this side garden and pick up some more of the squash but in the meantime we could kind of look here and see the beauty of the garden you can see the hydrangea flowers changing and here the centerpiece of the bird bath um, just looking so good. I'm going to have to cut this back soon. These are the lily leaves. My oriental lilies. And here my dahlias are looking fairly good. I just have to continue to deadhead the flowers. And I just wanted to show you this, that this was the other flower type that was in the package from Costco. And you could see that that purple and this other plant would have looked really good together if I had more of them. But I'm still thankful. At least one of them showed up, which is good. Now I need to deadhead these so that uh, some of these blooms can continue to come forth. Uh, but then I also am interested in um, getting dahlia seeds as well. So we will see. But we updated this bed and my husband put some mulch down along with it so I think it looks really really nice hmm. so I want to come into this garden area here and harvest um, the eggplants that were over there and um, also look at the garden as a whole here um, Things are just full and lush. This is a squash, but in that squash, you can see some here. And just try to lift them up so that they're not resting, the squash is not resting on the ground per se. what we have here. The corn is finished. I'm 
we're going to get on over here and this is what I want to harvest you can see that it's right there the eggplants and I want to harvest them before um, they become over ripened one and here I'm stepping on these summer squash I have another one right here one over there too. So, so far I've been able to harvest these eggplants and summer squash from that area over there in the garden here in this area. To be specific, that area over there. I really want to harvest this pumpkin right here and I think I saw another one somewhere around here so I'm going to do some digging in this area to find the pumpkins and harvest them But in the meantime, my hibiscus is still there and some of these other plants. So here it is. And I want to, you can tell it's ready because this is dry. You see how dry that is? That means that the pumpkin is ready for harvesting. Plus, looking at the beautiful color. So the ten tentacle is very dry and the color is very much ready. So it's just a matter of having enough strength to pull it off the vine here. Let me see if I can. So I've been... Ooh. So that's it. That's my pumpkin. Yay. And I'm going to add it to my other harvest. There it is. There are some patty pan that are over here that can get harvested, like this one here. And so I'm going to get it right from the bottom here. Just snip it off and put it in. Good. Let's see. I think I saw this one right here. And this one's easy. It's a pretty one. I guess 
saw some more. And here is another one. And I'm gonna just, this is a nice one too. I'm gonna add this one. So, so far, three patty pan. So I saw this one here. This is a different type of pumpkin. But isn't this pretty? Look at that. Look at the skin. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that is so nice. Look at the coloring. I'm gonna harvest this one too. Very pretty. To add with my others so far. Nice. Okay. Now there are a few more. Like there's a green pumpkin right there. And here is a patty pan, a small one. So I wanted to Grow. Let's see what else. I think I saw some more over in this area. Here's one right here. It's small, but I'm going to harvest it. I think that really completes this one. I don't see anything more on that. And I think I saw one over here on this. Let's see. Did I or did I not? Maybe not. Anyway, soon all of these will be drying up because the weather's changing, so soon all of this will be removed. But I think so far, so good. Look at our harvest. This is my harvest for today uh, from that area up there by the Jewel Garden. I got a pumpkin, one, two, three patty pans, two other type of squash, and um, three of the crook neck squash or summer squash, and three eggplants. So that is what I have so far. I think there are a few more squash or patty pans up in that area still that I did not harvest yet. And there are definitely the butternut squash that I'm allowing to develop some more before we harvest them in. But I think that this has been good for the season um, along with that which is already on my um, kitchen table my dining room table and then when you think about all of the wonderful veggies that we've been eating along with the zucchini and um, the kale and all of the other wonderful uh, vegetables the tomatoes and so forth I'm just uh, 
very excited about this. for watching and see you next time right here in Catherine's Garden and Home. Bye! For more videos, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.